guys it's codebreaker real talk part two hopefully they won't kick us out again and we know who they are and we're gonna go for their bloodline if they don't stop <laughs> anyway um just kidding i mean <laughs> they, know, they know they better stop right because uh mika is a element of uh like a cariño like a of, of, of um like say mika mijo like uh my son my daughter but it's a it's a a Latin Hispanic thing. So, um, cause I already love you and I just met you. So when you said, when you said, um, you know, we go through so much pain as healers and as stars. Hey guys. So anyway, they're gonna ni modo. Whoever's watching us, hopefully they can be patient. <laughs> but um when you were saying about us being um healers and going through so much pain, uh I can relate just because of the two spine surgeries and I've had a total of 21 surgeries from my whole life here on earth. Um and three yeah, three near death experiences, but you know what? We um we're here now and that's all that matters. And that's why we're able to help people, you know. And I'm very grateful for you too. Thank you for being live on Facebook too on um on Fire Horse. And I I know we're here for a reason, so this is exciting. Go ahead, um <laughs> go ahead and keep talking. And I what I'll do is I'll share screen for the new pictures that Fire Horse sent. Okay. Okay, sure. So whatever pops out first, then that's the first topic I'm going to talk about. Okay. Let's see. So at the moment, we're going to be talking about the types of like, what do you call this? Amul Amulets or, or talismans that you can get in the nature here in the Philippines. I guess not only in Philippines, but it's just that we are the ones who know how to get those stuff. But well, if you have like, for example, the amulet from the banana tree, if you have a banana in the U.S. or the New York, guess if you do that, um, yeah, you will hear this. This is it, a, yeah. This is an interesting story. Yeah. This one is uh, a type of amulet, Filipino amulet, like yep, the amulet, one of the amulets that we have here. It's called a thunder's tooth. It's a thunder's tooth. Why? Because for you to be able to acquire this talisman or amulet, you got to look out for some lightning to hit the earth or, or to hit the ground. So for example, like there are a lot of hunters, talisman hunters that is watching, like especially if the weather is going to be like light, a lot of lightning weather. So you're going to look for, for that. They're going to look and they're going to search for the places where the lightning will hit the ground. And when a lightning hits the ground, a lightning there, a lightning has a tooth. And this is the tooth of the lightning. So if you will be able to go to the place immediately where the lightning struck the ground, then around that area for sure you can find this one. But the thing is that it's up to you if <laughs> a human gets it first or some elements because elements, spirit elements also wants this because it also, it, it's got something to do with their powers or also or their energy. Yes, very, very true. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. funny that you talk so, about the light. Yeah, you're going to be in fight with the elements for you to get this. Well, hmm. Very interesting. My mother said when I was three years old, I was stepping outside because I love the rain, mm -hmm. the thunder. And as soon as I stepped outside, uh, light, uh, lightning struck in front of me. And all I did was just stare at it, stayed catatonic 
and she had to shake me. So I wonder what happened. <laughs> what kind of powers did I get? <laughs> what? For sure that you could have found a thunder tooth. This is a very powerful one for protection for everything. And I heard that when you have this talisman, more or less like your strength is super. I think the strength is super and it's really like a total protection for all the dark magic and all the yeah the dark the dark magic like the curses and the the the, the hexes and all that stuff yeah this is a very powerful one that is so awesome that kind of reminds me of what i wear is uh shungite how do you how do you um spell this one how do you say it and how do you spell it again the the this one that we're looking it, at? Because we call that in our local language it's called Nipin ng kidlat. It's three words. Meaning meaning in English, lightning's tooth or not that thunder. Thunder's tooth. Wow. Beautiful. Because it's literally like a thunder's tooth. Like, yeah, when when the lightning or thunder hits the ground, that this will be there. That, that is where the magic, because you, it takes a lot for you. Okay, so this one is... Have you seen like, like this plate that holds everything? This like wood that holds everything? Yeah. It is called like a coconut shell without the eyes. If you can see like a coconut, if you notice it, there would be like three eyes or four eyes. There would be, okay, hold on. Let me show you. Here, let's make this. Oh, no, no, I'll... So this is the shell of the opposite where it doesn't have the eyes. Not like there is a coconut, like there is totally no ice around at all. Wow. And that is very rare. Wow. That is very rare. Yeah. Where can you get that this? Very... Yeah. There are some people who can find this, but it's very rare. In no his... eye or one eye. One eye. Wow. In in is this like in where you are in the Philippines or every any anywhere? I mean if as long as there are coconut <laughs> and they can a coconut shell without <laughs> some of the eyes, that's for sure. But here in the Philippines, I think we are the ones who knows the magic of the coconut without the eyes because it has been passed on with, uh, with the natives, with our ancestors. They have been using this type of magic. Can you, so when, hmm? can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Thank you. It's something also magical, like so that it's like also a blessing from the universe. If ever that by chance that you're gonna find like uh, a coconut without eyes on its shell around, it's very rare because mostly there would there is like four eyes in all these coconuts. As soon as you find one, you gotta keep it, and as soon as you get one, you just shape it into the circle like a small bowl because you're gonna put elements inside uh let's see have you seen this one with like the powder or like 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 a dirt or like earth sand something like that i'm that, not sure about this. Yeah. Oh, every, yeah every person who is doing like this is called bao this is called bao protection this is a protective uh, amulet like you wear that one here let me just uh grab quickly Sure. I know that here, um, we're close to the Mexico border. I have uh, Copal, and uh, we have yeah. uh, also a like a dirt form that when when the fire is on, and you know it depends like what what do you want to clear, and you throw it into the fire, and it psh, just like. It's pretty awesome. Wow. Yeah, so this is basically how it's gonna look like once the finished product is, I don't know if you can see it. Once the finished product is done, so this is made as a make as a necklace. It's a necklace. That is what's inside this necklace, this picture on our screen. So basically I I will show you some of the things that is inside because I have those also. Are 
I think she said she found three of them, and then two of them were taken from, away from the elements. I'll let her elaborate on that. Uh, she's gonna show you. She, she, you know, I guess spirits always guide her to these uh, uh, uh to these interesting oh. artifacts, magical artifacts. Yeah. So, as you can see, like there is like some kind of black sand. Um, I really don't know exactly what is that. Maybe like maybe it's um it's a dirt like a special dirt that comes from like a crossroads or like a cemetery or a church. So. Things like that. It could uh, be some people, you know, when they burn their ancestors or they keep uh, ashes or, you know, say, say even when, when their loved ones pass, because um, mm -hmm. it's very well known here. I don't know there. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Um, uh, say a pet, uh, you know, passes on and they have like an amulet to put the 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 part of the being the ashes in the necklace right so it it could be something <laughs> magical like that <laughs> yeah 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 i mean in different different cultures different different types of magic and witchcraft are being practiced i'm very interested to learn different different types of magic you know and i'm that's why i'm sharing to the world the magic here in the philippines the witch the witchcraft field here in the philippines so yeah, hope everybody will use it in a good way that will benefit the most people in a good way. So anyway, I'll show you those things that I have that is included uh, uh, in the previous picture. Uh, can we go back to that? Okay, so have you noticed this one below, like this eye look thingy? It's like a tiger eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that. So that is like, um, it's like a door of a shell. I don't know what's it called. Like when you have a shell, if you notice, like if you have a shell, like if you eat a shell and then it's this, when they're still alive, they have this like protective door when they try to get inside their shell. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but that is the one. This is the one. The strange thing about this is I have this. I, fi I, I find this randomly everywhere, like in the, rib in the river, like beach or anywhere, not specifically like in not only in the beach, but everywhere. So the spirits are telling me I'm only going to find three of this. And once I completed finding three of this, I should keep it. And it's amazing because... I know for myself, like, the message was clear, like, you will find three of this and keep it, keep it. And I found them. I think this is the medium one because they, they have the different sizes. There's a smaller one of this and there's the, the bigger one. But as for my mistake, I am so sad because I lost. I lost them. And in fact, it reminded me just today because I want to talk about this. I just found it now. Only one is left, and I think it's it's like slowly melting away. So I gotta keep this in my, you know, in my sacred box because I think the elements are trying to get this from me. Yeah, so I'm keeping it in my box. They definitely are trying to. Um, I know the word is not exact. <laughs> They're trying really hard. <laughs> I lost the two I cannot find. So yeah, I better keep this one safe. Um, yeah, I tell people be careful, be careful with the elements because they're greedy too. They're they're just like you gotta be yeah, careful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I, I realized that when I lost two of them, like it's strange because I placed three of them in the exact spot that I am putting all of this because the message was clear. Keep it. I will the, the 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 spirit said, "I will let you find this three and keep it. And then when I find one, it's very loud and clear. Take that with you home. That's the second one. And yeah, yeah, all this mysterious stuff. And uh, that paper. If you notice that paper, that is like a small paper. 
and that is a blessed it's an it's an ordinary paper but there is a ritual to do for that paper to be sacred because you will write uh spells i call it spells or like we call it oras oration here in our language we call that oration like sacred text or magical text for, for either for protection for healing and all those stuff so yeah that's the paper and that if you notice those thick long long things like thick, it's it's um it's a coral from the sea or from the ocean which has a very powerful healing elements like this one that is this uh, let me just open and show you so i haven't opened it yet <laughs> i have another pack so i forgot what it's called but um very powerful when for use in magic and also for like healing goiter if you have a goiter and uh yeah this is one of the best things for that i forgot but there are a lot of like uh, uh sickness that you can heal with this one this is a coral from the sea and what is it does none i have this oh. in a big jar uh, what it does is it has been kept in this plastic for a long time but if you're gonna put this in a glass a pitcher and put water it will grow back and you will uh you will drink that water that they that you soak on this and that is the medicine my grandmother she has a goiter when she was still alive and she's drinking this every day and the goiter just minimized like i mean she's got like an enormous goiter here like very big neck already because that goiter has been with her for how many years and start, she started drinking that one and then yeah eventually the goiter just keep getting smaller and smaller that's good you know the the word or oracion in spanish it's the same thing yes. as, uh -huh, the yeah the is that yeah. beautiful yeah the book that i showed you the black book that contains a lot of oraciones so yeah for sure. And we usually we usually use oration is for healing, for like um breaking spells or like for protection against elements, everything that there is like also like uh like uh possessions and all the stuff, driving away the 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 exorcism as they say. We also do that here, that the Filipino way of exorcising. So yeah, anyway, this is another thing that I'm about to show you. Usually it's like included some of the people will include this if you're gonna be like making like something for like a good fortune or something. It's called I forget what it's called. Pangamay, as they say, because as you see, it's like shaved as a hand and it is good for like uh bringing in good luck when it comes to business and money. I like it. So, it does look like a hand, and at the same time, it looks like a fork. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like a fork. It's cute. <laughs> I like so, it. yeah, some of the stuff that I have here, I forgot. I We also have, like, a, a cross-shaped pearls here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll take my horse to, like, I should take you there. We should buy that uh, cross-shaped uh, uh, pearls. Oh, I would love to see that you guys that's awesome yeah, yeah, now, yeah, what is the, the little okay i'll get one for you i'll get one for you <laughs> <laughs> you're so kind thank you so much um yeah I, some of the elements there i know bato omo but i cannot show that i don't have that with me so yeah uh to to sum it all up like this is the bao so it's made oh. as a necklace from like a coconut without eyes or at least one eye that's it okay so without eyes one. so if if people want to make their own um can they put whatever cute little you know or or like whatever kind of quartz or crystals that they're in tune with like for example is that jade there a circle of jasper um it looks kind of like lapis azuli but it's not it's uh, more of a gray all, all of the things that is placed in there it's 
uh, it's it's the creators or for example me I'm making this type so I know exactly what to put in my bao because I am guided by the spirits or my guides not everybody could make this one only the special guided people or the shamans or the healers they're the ones who can make this one awesome I'm gonna make myself one <laughs> um so, um you one here huh you can get you one here Please. there are people who is my, my teacher makes this beautiful yes we can definitely we'll we'll keep in contact um because i want to learn a lot more i know a lot um you know but it's uh it's really awesome to get together with people like you because we can actually like share things yeah, yeah, we can have, like, share knowledge and share the things that we know yeah, like with hair. Hair, um, yes. very important. We were talking about in the part one. So what I do is I don't throw my hair away anymore. Or I don't flush it down the toilet. I don't, I, what I do is I save it. And then you give it back to Mother oh. Earth. You give it to Mother Earth because this is antennas and like our fingernails, the, the mm -hmm. tip of the fingernails, because our hands, they glow. The spirits can mm -hmm. see our hands glow. And they can see at the tip of our nails are the most uh, light. And uh, okay. my Italian side, they would always uh, bury the nail clippings and their hair. My ancestors would bury their hair. So I'm going back to that. I'm going back to those beliefs. I no longer want to paint my nails because this is old, but uh, paint, but it covers the, the soul aspect, your magic. You know, and, and, yeah. and uh, you know, I love to put, you know, eyeshadow or whatever uh, on special occasions, but not every day anymore because I was uh, hearing that the metal, the metallics, they they cover your light. They opaque, 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 and how do you say it? They dim your light. And then another... That... Oh, okay. Yeah, continue. I, I realized something, but anyway, yes, I'm listening. You say, you say, you, you say it. No, no, just continue. <laughs> okay, real quick. <laughs> so a friend of mine says um that smoking organic cigarettes, um, it uh it it uh how do you say it opaques the light, the aura away from the yeah. energy. So so your aura is kind of shrunken so that the enemies don't see it that good. I always say uh -huh. You know, and I'm not promoting anything, you know, I'm just speaking out of truth. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Not a lot of people want to be around stinky people who smoke, right? There's a reason. Mm -hmm. There's a reason. Mother Earth, tobacco, you know, uh, weed, whatever, um, in, that is organic, that is precious. Mm -hmm. And so I just find that very interesting. And I tell people, not everyone deserves to see your light. So, you know, I do the cloaking, the black shield, mm -hmm. layers and layers of protection. But uh, go ahead and, and tell me what you were going to say about the makeup or the metals. And then I'll go to another slide, too. Thank you. Yeah, I just realized something because I was brought up to from a religious parents. We, we are Catholic. And my parents would always say that the Bible says that don't put too much anything on your body because you're already a divine child your brightness is enough don't need makeup manicure or anything else and i realized yeah because why would you put like a paint on your nails your nails are beautiful itself there is a purpose that is in connection because all oh, that this is the catholic the, the religious side but in the spiritual side there is like an explanation also to say yeah. because it's what you said the makeup and the nails and all these extra things that we put on ourselves so god said in the bible that you don't need those necessary things because you are enough as you as you are yeah you are more than enough <laughs> yeah 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 so yeah <laughs> i love it um so what is this yeah this is an interesting one it's called the amulet of the banana fruit, or we call that here, um, mutia ng saging. The jewel of the banana. 
uh, there were uh, how to get it. Okay, it's maybe it's only in the Philippines, but maybe in like Caribbean, if they can, or in, in Jamaica, they have a lot of fruits. If they know how to do this, probably they can find this one. But the ways to get this type of um, uh, a magical uh, item or like jewel is only during Holy Week. As we say, the Catholics celebrate Holy Holy Week, like the death of Jesus and the, the rising of Jesus. So here also, when the Catholic, uh, when the when the when the Holy Week happens, the witchcraft is really so busy, both left, right, left and right hand path. Yep. All of them are so busy because that is the time that they can make oils, charge their powers, do their uh yearly rituals and all of this stuff you know why because people yeah. are praying and giving out their power they're they're giving yes. away their power so yes. the elements and we all know yeah how to harness yes yeah yes exactly mm -hmm. so how to get this uh jewel or or like uh, item is during um uh during good friday when jesus it's gonna die when Jesus died. It's a Good Friday, right? So everything else is just you know the energy is lonely because the God is dead and all that stuff. That is the time that you get all these magical items and the the, the black magic magicians are really so busy with the rituals and this is one of them. So for example, I'm gonna I'm gonna make an example of myself. I am a hunter of this jewel. So what I do is. And a good Friday, I will go out starting at 12 midnight. Go to the forest, like deep forest where no houses, no nothing, no nothing at all. And I will try to find and look for this big banana tree. You will distinguish it because it's it's enchanting. It's The appearance would be magical. It's big, it's beautiful, it's shining bright, bright and sparkling. So once you find that, I think, sorry, I think it's 12, exactly 12 midnight. So you have to be, the, you have to find that, 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 that enchanted banana tree before 12. Because exactly at 12, this uh, jewel will come out from the banana, banana um, fruit. And take note, it's not you alone. There could be another hunter or worse, elements. They are gonna be there. So if ever that you'll get it, like because you have to like do like this. You you can take it by hand. You have to take it by your. You have to open your mouth and wait for the jewel to drop inside your mouth. And when the jewel drops inside your mouth, be sure to not open your mouth at all because elements are like. Once you get this, the struggle is not over. It's just starting because elements will start to take it away from you. They're going to punch you. They're going to hurt you so bad and all that stuff. Yeah. You try your run as much as you can. You can as much as possible, as far as possible because they're going to be chasing you because they want this so bad. So, yeah. 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 And um, once yeah. you reach home, I think, like once you reach home, just you know um go inside your home directly and just put this in a glass of water and then that's it they cannot touch it but you also have still to keep it with you all the time because they can steal it still but not as big possibility as during that night that you took it from the banana fruit so yeah, yeah. it's how you get the I know jewel of the banana kind of off topic and i I don't care what people think, but you can also put it in your yoni. Um, so they have a cleansing too ritual for women to to do their the crystal yoni. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know it's kind of weird. Uh, but uh, some uh shamans do that. Um, it's just an it's just an idea. <laughs> you want to put it so. <laughs> because when I was in Dubai like I belong to this group where they do like this 
spiritual stuff and they're gonna say like get a yoni ball like a jade a jade yoni ball is the best so That's yeah, yeah yeah they yeah. um they uh a lot um a lot do it at least uh twice a year at least um um just to clear out any energies um I always recommend women that are not in a relate in a serious relationship to go celibate. Mm, you know? Yeah, that's another topic for another day. <laughs> Let me look this up. I believe in that soul because if you don't have like a soul connection or you're not in a relationship with someone who you are connected by soul, then it's no use like having like a sexual contact because sexual energy is kundalini energy and kundalini energy is life force. Yes, so it is. sacred. You gotta be careful whom you let you touch you. I totally agree with that one. So that's a good topic for next. <laughs> Another day. I um as far as uh that too, uh that also should be limited, especially when you're doing a spiritual walk, because we are warriors. And if like I said, if you're a woman or man that that has you know no need for a partner because you're trying to find your mission, it is also a good thing not to do that, you know. Um, I'm going to say a secret that uh, I never talked about, and this is personal. It says your internet connection is unstable. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, my father, my mother now, you know, my father died when I was 13, but he, uh, my mother said that whenever Quaresma, because I was raised Catholic too, um, he would uh -huh. abstain from sexual contact with my mother or any kind of, uh, you know, any kind of self-touch. And that was through the 40 days and 40 nights. So, and, and he was married to my mother. So, uh, you know, uh, it's just a secret that, um, people know, I, and I don't know if it has something to do with, you know, their parents being Catholic and, and things like that, but that's the way I was raised. It, you know, at first I thought, what, you know, what is this teachings? And then in the, in the church also, when I was going, they would say, Ni todo mucho, ni todo nada. They would say in the middle, balance, just like you were talking about earlier. So, yeah, maybe we could do a topic for another day. <laughs> but, yeah, 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 that's interesting. <laughs> yes. So is this the um, the same thing? The banana thing? Yeah, I mean, this is the banana, banana fruit that I'm talking about. Okay. In case that you have never seen this one. So... If you can notice, like, this is what you call the puso ng saging, or the heart of the banana. This is what comes first when a banana starts to bear fruit. If you can see, there is, like, the green, small banana, unripe fruits. And then slowly, slowly, it will move down until all of these are finished. And then you have this very uh, long uh, set of banana fruit. But at the end of this, like, heart-shaped thingy, that is where the jewel comes out at 12 in the midnight during a good Friday in a Holy Week. So, <laughs> so, yeah, that's the last uh, part of like, uh, I could go on and on. <laughs> uh, the, yeah, one more thing. Uh, I have like a one more story. It's also called the talisman or the jewel of the church bell. If you can notice the Catholic churches, there are like very big church bells, right? Yeah. You can get also a talisman out from that. What you can do like in a good Friday as well, but not everybody, not everybody is gifted, even though if they do the task, it's a very difficult task because first, who will let you get inside a church at the middle of the night? Of course, they will think that you're going to steal something. <coughs> yeah, it's up to you to guides if they're gonna open the church door for you but along the way going to inside the church and going upstairs the tower to get to the blue tower is going to be a lot of elements who are going to hurt you are going to beat you are going to stop you because again you're going to be fighting with the elements to get that uh jewel of the of the bell of the church bell so you should be still at 12 midnight once you reach the bell you will notice that the bell will become soft, soft enough for you to like use a knife to like take a, a little piece out from it. But once you have cut a small part of the bell, 
it's hard. It's gonna, it's gonna be hard and again. So it's gonna be hard again. So you have to do it quickly, like exactly twelve in the midnight. Take it quickly, and then maybe you can have a, like a small pocket or like maybe you can um, cut your skin, put the piece of metal inside, and run as much as you can, because again, elements will try to steal them. Mm -hmm. I remember there is the rumor that one of the famous boxer from the Philippines. He's such a small guy, but his fists were like a killer. He's very strong, and it is rumored that he has that jewel of the bell because the power of that bell is like the, it's like the hook, a strength. Is that Manny Pacquiao? No, 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 not Manny. Okay, I was gonna say like I forgot the name, but yeah, okay. it's rumored like one of the box Philippine boxers have that jewel because his face is so strong. That's awesome. I believe it. I yeah. do. It's funny that you say Hulk because my nickname in the police academy was Hulk. <laughs> wow, what a coincidence. That's me, <laughs> Sheila the She-Hulk. <laughs> but anyway, um, I really enjoyed this time. It's awesome. Can we do this again? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I have stories. I have, yeah, so we have crazy stories. stories up here. <laughs> Yeah, we have story because I think we have it's talked a lot. Crazy. So I think we're gonna save those experiences yeah. in another and, and I have the video footages for that. It's it's, yeah. it's crazy. I mean, this is a physical uh, like shapeshifter shit that happened. So you know, we'll we we'll leave that as a teaser. Yeah, as a cliffhanger. Fire horse. Remember last time? That, okay, this is our third video, right? Together. Um and 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 yeah. the first day we said oh we gotta talk about the moon and we still have to talk I know about the moon. moon. <laughs> I know I know because I have all my notes back because I want to go to details with that because the moon menstrual cycle it, it is is all connected you yeah. know and the woman and and, and, I, and I and I have all that so rather than talk now you know I have the notes back in the yeah, states plus and then while she's here and I'm here with her you know it's like. It, that's a good topic, the moon and the menstruation, together with the celibacy thing that we're about to talk about. Yes. For the energy, I think, yeah. that we're talking yeah. about. And also, like, for the sex magic, because yes. one woman, yes. like, like these guys, like, the energy are, are in them, you know, like, like of all the her past lovers, all those energies are, 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 are in, with They it. leave an imprint, but yeah. 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 Yes, I, I, I have a um, classes on that too. And yes, let's do the next one, everyone. How how is uh, uh moon ritual, moon and sex magic rituals? Uh, we'll we'll just title it moon and sex magic, and then who who else? What else is gonna come up? Because this is awesome. Thank you both. I love you both, and I will share this video. Thank you. And I, <laughs> and, and I, I just want to say one quick thing because I don't I, the, to finish that little story about the 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 wooden shoes. What it was, it was a little Dutch boy, a little Dutch boy that followed me from the cemetery. You know, I, with the wooden shoes that I kept hearing the wooden shoes, and then my brother-in-law who could see the dead, he saw the little boy. He says like, "Hey, you have a little Dutch boy here, and you know he likes you. You make him laugh." He just throws sugar around, get little toys for him, and, and there. And I thought that was kind of cool. Little, you know, I don't know what shenanigans I was doing to make him laugh. You know, I just hope he, you know, didn't see me doing anything. You know, like smoking <laughs> weed or spanking <laughs> a monkey or anything. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, but anyway, uh, he, um, I told him at, at one point, I said it's cool to have you around. It's a privilege that you choose me as a friend, but I would love it for you to just. You know, re reincarnate and just go. Cross you know, over. yeah, cross over families. You know, just do the whole thing, and then after that, it, it stopped. So he had crossed over, and you know, that's that. That's you know, just to tie, you know, to finish that up. Yeah, that's interesting. I always say, you know, I I I don't recommend, you know, myself because I don't want to be, you know, uh, reincarnated. But if the souls that uh that I cross over say, hey, I want to be a reincarnated, so I always say, go to the nearest hospital because there's a bunch of babies being born. So they can go in there. They can be reincarnated through babies being born. Very interesting. So um, I just found like I have a like a talisman here, like it's a fossilized shell. Hmm. So yeah, I found it in the mountains while I was walking. So it said that I should keep it. And one day I'll have like use of it. <laughs> I don't know what it's for. 
that just the spirits told me to keep it. It looks like a map, uh, a map of some kind. Maybe I haven't figured it out. The lines have different, um, it's a map for you, um, a message for you. Yes. Yeah, I should meditate on this one. I'll talk to this one, I'll like, like meditate on this one. So yeah. yeah. Thanks. Maybe it's a map, a message. Yeah. yeah, it's for you. Try to decode it. <laughs> yeah, it kind of reminds me of you know the Indian um the they they show the the Native American like in the middle, and then uh -huh. show the map, the maze, and uh -huh. uh, you have to find yourself right. So you start with these mazes until you find yourself. So that could be a map for you. You know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I I tell everybody how they can uh, find you on Facebook or anything else, email. Yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Ayara. And if you want to know the things that I do, uh, you can follow my Facebook page, which the link will be in the description. Yeah. yeah. Balai Katinawan, located in Cebu, Philippines. I do conduct uh, plant medicine ceremonies. Um, it can be a group or it can be an individual. So for people all around the world who has a plan to visit Philippines and also do a uh, healing, especially with the aid of plant spirit, with the aid of plant spirit medicines, then just hit me a message on my Facebook. And I also do uh, other, other stuff. Like I'm going to be doing like a Reiki healing and I'm going to be also teaching Reiki soon. And some past life regression sessions. Yay. So check just follow the page so that you'll be in touch. And thank you very much, everyone. I'm so grateful, especially to you, Veronica. Thank you very much. And to anytime our horse. That's awesome. Be here. Anytime. You, you got it. And fire horse, I'll put your information down again. And it was a pleasure. And thank you for bearing with the disconnect and connection <laughs> with Zoom. See you later, guys. Love you. Bye. Later. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye, Bye. Bye.